All right, Bush Banter, episode three. We banter about quarantine hair, apples, chants from the bush, and hammered fans. Hope you enjoy. Oh, 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 oh shit. Wow. Holy shit. Wow, apples, apples. <laughs> All right, should we do a crack of beer to st- oh. Yeah, yeah, we'll get it. I've been, I've been recording. Oh, We're recording. Oh. <laughs> you, you, you start it up, buddy, whenever you want. All right, Bushman gathereth. Do we have Hagers here? Yeah, here. Ramon. Hello, everybody. And then the newest addition slash one of the original members, Elliot Hill. Are you here? <laughs> oh, I'm here, boys. Excited. <laughs> Yes, oh. it's the tiniest microphone Dude. in the planet. <laughs> so I just so I started I started washing like my beer at the top, and now it's full of soap. Oh, oh gross! That's, that's, that's hey, uh, Gary, you forgot oh. to introduce yourself, also down. Oh there. right, yeah, yeah, myself, G Hill, Bush. I'll, oh. I'll crack another beer. Did this last time? No worries. Should we cheers, everyone? Cheers! Yeah, cheers! Yeah, well, cheers. Welcome to our third episode. Team. Absolutely. Welcome, Elliot. Welcome, Elliot. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. So I thought like before diving into, um, you know, some bush talk and what's going on, I just want to get a quick kind of hair update because uh, the fellas are looking, <laughs> like, looking like they can <laughs> use a barber too. I have no hair, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> But uh, like, so, like the, the boys are, are shagging out. And uh, oh, yeah, so, so I was talking to my <laughs> friends last night. They, they were getting the mustaches going for the corona. So given I like suck at growing a beard, I think I'll get that fired up. Hager's though, with quite quite the look off the hop. All right. Little so because I, like, I just got yeah, late. You know, my little. beard was growing. So I was like, okay, yesterday, shave it up, right? So I started shaving this part. And then I was like, oh, it would be kind of funny if I – did this and i showed sabrina and it was funny it's like every so often like her guelph comes out because she looks she goes i like it (laughs) are you serious i was gonna say it was gonna be a hard no right away and you've been quarantined you've been quarantined to a room since you shaved it (laughs) so i was like I was like, you know, well, I'm not going anywhere. I don't have any meetings. Like, I'm just phoning <laughs> my meetings, so I'm keeping it. Although I did have to go get beer today, and I got some strange looks. Oh, you know what? I like You it. always get strange looks. That's fair. Yeah, that's nothing. I'm going to see how it goes. I'm going to see if I can, like, really fits. get her going. It, 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 it actually fits you. It's fantastic. <laughs> you, look, you look like the guy. Was it Office Space where he's, like, his neighbor, like, and the dude oh, at the yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> looks like <laughs> Uh, well, what would you do if somebody asked you if you were having a case in the Monday? Well, I'd punch <laughs> them right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Case of the Mondays? Well, I'd punch <laughs> them right in the face. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, yeah, like a quick little hair update. Uh, so before we start the show, I just want to actually give a shout out to a family members, family members actually of uh, 75% of this podcast right now, <laughs> our Aunt Jen. Hager's mom, and of course, me and Elliot's mom, RIP. I know she's looking down on us. We just want to Cheers. give them a shout out Cheers. for that birthday. Happy I hope, birthday. hope they're having some bush. Happy birthdays. Knowing you, Jenny, I know a couple a couple glasses of that sweet red out in Victoria, which I yeah. Which yeah. Dude, she, she discovered cans of wine last summer at the game she came to, and now she's just <laughs> all about it. <laughs> Shotgun and wine. <laughs> Just getting after. Oh him. yeah, I remember that because yeah, Sam introduced him to her. Yeah, yeah. and then and then Sam oh, yeah. got her drunk at the game. <laughs> Mom's just sitting there drinking cans of wine. AI wasn't really noticing. Uh, it's hilarious. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Uh, so yeah, so we talked about on our last episode. You know, maybe we chat about uh, some chants. So the chants that come out of the bush. You know, very original stuff, all from the heart um so there's a couple we want to chat chat about i think the first one i don't know maybe you guys tell me i think the first chant we came up with was attack chant no yeah, yeah but it was yeah, the original one which is attack attack, 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 attack. attack. Yeah. no 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 that was oh the second no one. it was like attack attack 
No, no, no. Oh, it was tat, you would tat, count tat, them tat, off. Remember, it was like tat, 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 and then Cam's like. <laughs> we don't know when to say Takamatsu. We're just like waiting for his lead. And then you just be like, ah, Takamatsu. And I love how it slowly morphed into our uh, song by the playoffs. Tak, tak, come back. Takamatsu, tak, tak, come back. Takamatsu. Well, you want to know how that came about was that, well, Elliot actually and Hager is very familiar with Galladay on the island. So there's an island band every Galladay, which is like a, a summer festival on the island for the July to August long weekend. On Friday night, they do the fire parade you know, a bunch of hippies with lanterns walking around the island. And then the band <laughs> plays, an but they only have one song, which is Papa's Got a Brand New Pig Bag, which is... <laughs> and they got drums. L, you've seen it. You can try. And they're, they're, they're playing it for like three hours straight. <laughs> stop On loop. On loop. <laughs> <laughs> so then I was like, shit, we could yeah. switch that into the tack of Mac. And I remember like the first time I, I uh, brought it to the game, your dad was there, right? And he was just loving it. Oh, yeah. No, oh, that was Noel was just there for the hot dogs originally, and then he discovered the IBO. Yeah, <laughs> so I know. Hot totally. dogs totally. That party? Yo, don't totally. get it twisted, man. Noel's a big time softball player, man. The Architect League? The Architect League is hot, <laughs> man. <laughs> they won a couple championships yeah nice so i think uh i think th so that was definitely the first i think the second chant to be honest was ray coming up with the marcus next slash connect four oh, chant yeah they, which is electric go for it marcus, marcus go for the it. score go, go for, for it, it. Connect, 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 more. connect more with his name yeah so i'm wondering so because we've got all these starting to be uh, we're writing them up they're going to be on the website should we like somehow record them properly so people can play them at the game I as well so. yeah. i think so. like we do that if we do that we're going double plot like this oh. is our live album is going to be <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have nothing but time we can record yeah. the greatest live album of baseball well Jesus let's ever. talk to spence see if yeah, we can somehow sure. record them properly and do actually guys, can make an album do you guys remember that time when that guy came up the hill and told us that he was working at mcdonald's and he was doing <laughs> nothing but singing our chants yeah. all morning in his head yeah. the next day yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he dude, came up to thank us imagine dude imagine you were like just like walking the streets like not even at christy pitts and someone's beside you, and their phone goes off, and it's Mara, Mara, give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> they got to be a heart. That's, you know what? You got to shake that person's hand because it's not too often. Can you, you shake anymore? Hard. You got to elbow tap. You got to elbow. True, you gotta true, elbow. true. Oh, not even the handshake anymore. is dead. You know what? Uh, IEL fans will still high five. <laughs> oh, yeah, all day. They're a good group. They're a L, good group. L, you there? You there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. we got it. We got it. Yeah, that, uh, mic's, that so, mic's huge, man. Just oh, such a massive monster mic. Did you have to have your pinky out, man? Like you're just sipping oh, tea. Is that just to make you look bigger? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I feel like a giant right Elliot's now. It's grown. Very, very satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So another chair we had, uh, we got uh, – this is another one. I'm trying to do it kind of chronologically here. I think the next one actually was – Mr. Apple Orchard, Zach the Snack, Zach Orchard himself. And this one's actually complex, so I'll let Ray take it away because you kind of started with bringing the apples, which I understand with the orchard, but it's kind of a reach. Well, well whoa. <laughs> <laughs> just, just wait a couple a years. I was waiting for you guys to pay to see if you were paying attention. <laughs> I don't think it's too much of a reach, man. The guy's it last is. name is Orchard, and I know. it was only natural to bring a bag of solid, you know, <laughs> nothing Macintosh. like a good solid app. Yeah, no, never a Macintosh, <laughs> man. I don't like that soft flesh. What are you going? 
Definitely a good okay. solid gala. Red Delicious? Maybe. Oh, for sure, gala. Oh, man, a Red Delicious. <laughs> That's right up there with that Macintosh, man. It's the classic one you shine up for the The Red Delicious is deceiving, man. That's just a – that's a pie-making apple. That's not a good – What about a Granny apple. Smith? A gr- I like Smith a Granny Smith. Not bad. <laughs> yeah. Granny Smith is not too bad. A little tart. I Yo, like the, a one thing, the, the one thing with the Red – Yes. Oh, perfect. The Red Delicious bruises so yeah. easily. <laughs> you like tip that thing over and it's like black. You're like, what the? <laughs> the <laughs> Red Delicious is so frail. Oh, man. The worms are so, always I up in the Red Delicious. They, uh, so you know the what? They, for sure that Orchard is what? What, what apple is Orchard? We've got an Orchard of apple. What apple? I would say oh. he's probably a new. Uh, Old and Delicious? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> insert joke here <laughs> i don't know i i was gonna throw macintosh and red delicious but apparently those are the most hated no, apples, those are soft <laughs> ass apples. apples man. dude i chase value all right i see the price tag <laughs> on that bag of max and i'm jumping oh my god so another chance so obviously we, we, we mentioned it you know one of the biggest families in the ibl all three of which actually, and Mama Mara, and Sister Mara, and cousin or girlfriend Mara. Who was the other one? I think it was it was girlfriend Dan's girlfriend. Girlfriend Mara. Mara. All came out to our bush bash. So that final it's chant annual. is obviously to the tune of glory, glory, hallelujah. But it's for the Mara boys. Mara, Mara, give it, give it to you. Yeah. Mara, give it to That's got to be my favorite part of the chant is just the nonsense we all got. <laughs> it's the easiest to do when you're like crunked by the seventh inning. Oh, yeah. You know Mara's coming through with like a eighth inning three run jack to win the game, you know, like he's putting us ahead with those shots. So thank God we're you know, doing an easy chant then. Completely buckled after five hours of the sun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's tough, man. And not only is it hard slogging in the pure sun, it's a tough angle on that hill, too, that we're standing. So oh, it's yeah. a half workout. It's oh, yeah. a mental workout. And calves are uh, popping by the end of it. <laughs> yeah, well, but it's Sunday. Gonna... We're just in the sun the whole day. The whole day. It's just yeah, like it's, it's just, just watching it, just watching it set in the sky. Well, the, the best is like early in the season when like uh when the bush foliage hasn't grown in that much, but you get like a good day, like you get friggin' baked in that sun. Like hell, you remember oh, last year? Oh when my, we went? my shins? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot's just like beat red all over his shins. Nothing like a good <laughs> oh, early I had, to, I, had to, I had to make a bunch of food because Sam was having people over to watch uh Game of Thrones ending. No, I cook all this like steak. Oh, was that the charcuterie yeah. board day? Dude, yes. <laughs> and further to that, though, that was also, I believe, was it not, the game, remember those random dudes showed up with that 2-4 yeah, of hot like tea. hot tea? Yeah. Hot tea. It was oh, yeah. like, so it was like an iced tea beer. They had a 2-4 of this iced tea beer. And obviously they're supposed to go throughout Christy Pitts to promote which I don't think is drink. legal. You can't just and like hand it give. out to people. Well, whatever, Hagers, come on, get over it, you <laughs> hey, old man hey. yelling at the clouds. <laughs> so then they came up to us and they're like, wow, like you guys are really getting after it. Why don't we just give you the whole two for it? We're like, all right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we were all like, that's Luke. the smartest idea you guys could have ever had. Oh, dude, we gave, we gave him a shout out on our Twitter. You know, we have millions of followers, obviously, on Twitter. Oh, yeah, so we yeah. gave them some free pub. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that was, that was, that was a combination of lack of foliage tons of sun tons of hot tea elliot's crisps to a bone we go back to our house he's trying to lather aloe vera on himself and then stumble out to the grocery store to make like some elaborate meal for <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it, like, not only that nachos and salad and shit and i was like fuck like i'm so drunk right now so <laughs> i drunk. know i know and the and the but best was also thing was a wild game yeah that was a wild it was. game it and the was. best thing was yeah. that was like one of the first games of the season 
And Carrie was so mad at me when I came oh. home because I was completely <laughs> buckled. buckled. And it, she was like, oh my God, is this what it's going to be like for the whole, <laughs> yeah, whole year? <laughs> <laughs> and just like, <laughs> oh, hot tea. Hot tea. There's so many hot tea. Oh, God. <laughs> so oh, good. Dude, it was so crazy. Oh, so that's a good one. Oh, yeah, I remember the one, one too. I think it was Canada Day. You had pants on the whole game. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> and sweating and i i forgot i had an extra and a pair tight of, denim too that's how i knew you denim. started dating <laughs> sam you came in with these tight black <laughs> denims you're like chopstick <laughs> legging around i was like what i'm like okay this guy obviously likes this girl because he's now uh he's now coming wearing, wearing tight pants like yeah, yeah. tight, <laughs> tight <laughs> denim <laughs> <laughs> a black a denim on a hot day. Got an extra pair of shorts in his bag the whole time. Right? At the end of the game, he's like, "Oh, my shorts are a little bit muggy. I'm gonna change into my other one." <laughs> his whole time. Oh my god! Who? Who had the shorts? I did. Yeah. Oh, you? <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> That is hilarious. Oh, oh that's awesome. But that's no, awesome. boys, I do think we've come up with some high quality chants that have been, you know, they're, they're motivational for the boys. They love it. I do we mean, got any new ones? We definitely need to make some new ones. Well, the, you know, new signing Castaldo. I did have the, the an idea for that one. So it's set got? to the ABBA song, Fernando. <laughs> <laughs> well, given you have this uh, tiny mic, why don't you just take the stage, Jell, and show I'll, us what's going on? I'll bear it out right now. That's here. Yeah. The ball was in the air just right. Home run flight. Costello. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love <laughs> it. Love it. I like it. I like it. it. All right. We got a new edition. We got a new edition. And also to everyone, obviously, again, the millions of people watching worldwide. If you do want to find, we're not going to get through all of our chants. Like we do have quite a bit. Maybe we'll do some on some next episodes. But we've actually have them written out. And also we write, you know, what it's to the tune of on the website, which you can find obviously at the bushman.ca. Um, okay, so with that guys. said, with that said, should we do a little seventh inning stretch, boys? I think All right. so. Seventh inning stretch. Cheers. Oh, Cheers. Hold on a second. Recrack. Fuck, I did it again. I didn't have the extra period of crack. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of three full friggin' beers on the go because I'm having to yeah, re-crack for all our yeah. damn intros. Uh, yeah, but regular side cans for, for these things so we can actually drink the whole beer. Yeah, yeah honestly, true. Honestly. So, like, we're still trying to figure out the seventh inning stretch. So, again, to our millions of followers, if you have ideas on what you'd like to see on the seventh inning stretch, ideas on what the hell we can do, we're up for it. Obviously, I cartwheeled down the hill at the pits anytime Damon Topoli hits a jack so i'm up ready <laughs> that is a that is a terrifying tumble too you pick up steam dude <laughs> consecutive cartwheeling in a row down a hill is a lot faster than yeah. it feels man like how many was, do you think you can do what was your record yeah, well year? so i the first time i did yeah. i did two i did two and i kind of bailed going into the third and i showed you guys and elliot's like Man, that's oh, fucking yeah. hard. Like, over, you dude. suck. Da, da, da. <laughs> yeah. We go. So then we go. No, sure enough, we go to the next game, and Top hits a jack. So I'm like, all right, I got to do it. And on that one, I got to three before yeah. I bailed. And then immediately and I get up. Elliot's like, holy shit, dude, you're <laughs> flying. <down there."> <laughs> <laughs> It's almost like centrifugal force, and you just you pick up speed oh, without even dude. being able. Oh, to. And if you tighten it up, I'm saying I was getting so ready. If you grab that, you can you can hit the hole. So so wait, I've been doing the full extension. You're saying like yeah, elbows. I'm saying and tight guys, crab. I'm like, saying tight crab. Tight. It doesn't count. It, just, it doesn't count with the tight just, crab. So wait, no, no, no. I kind of like that idea. So I'll get the squat. Whoa, whoa, I'll get the crab. squat. I'll get in the squat with the arms up, and then you guys friggin' roll me down to get me going. <laughs> I'll go upside down, just throw my legs, and just see what happens. But you remember, if Tavoli hits a triple, you have to cartwheel up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> 
deal. Tops, if you're listening, yeah. you just heard it here first. You're going to see in, in anti-gravitational cartwheels. <laughs> 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 Dude, I, I'm still the saddest thing for me is missing that that shoulder check by Top at first base. Oh, I saw it. Oh man, no, I didn't. I missed it. I wasn't at that game. Oh yeah, no, no, that, that was, was in Brantford. Yeah, right. Is that Brantford? Yeah. No, yeah. it was Kitchener. Uh, no, it was Kitchener. No, that was sure. Brantford. It was our no. Was it? it was it was Kitchener. It was I game. No, it wasn't Kitchener. It was uh, there was also no, what's one the one near Hamilton? Is it there Burlington? was also that one Brant- in the pits as well? Remember? Hey, actually, that it might have been Burlington camp because that it was, was Burlington. two years ago. It's two it years ago, they- Burlington at the end of the game, and Tops is at first. We were winning, and oh. yeah, we won that game. Oh, did we? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then there was like a whole lot of chaos because Tops gave us just a sweet body check to the guy <laughs> trying to get to first. Guy went yeah. flying. Yeah. And they're like everyone kind of came together. And I think it was like, all right, he's earned a little bit of respect. So it kind of stopped. But it, it looked yeah. like because Reevesy was still playing and Reevesy was getting fired up. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Reevesy yeah. is always fired up. Yeah, Reevesy, man. Hope you're enjoying the East Coast, boy. Oh, man. I think it happened in the pits, too. Didn't Tops lay somebody out or drop the shoulder on somebody in the pits also? I guess probably. He probably has done it, like, a bunch. (laughs) Like, he's got, like, his his fine list is, like, massive. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, we love it, Tops, and we don't ever want you to discontinue bringing that grip. Are they fine? Like, what are they going to find, people? Like, the umps? Like, there's, yeah. No way. 20 bucks. Uh, so history, history of the Bushman, boys. So history of the Bushman. How the hell did this all come together? And so what I'll say is I remember like Hager's when our buddies lived near uh, Pitts at Ossington. Yeah. Like the odd time I'd shuffle by, watch the game, you know, big baseball fan. It's actually a good ball. Uh, so I'd seen a few games. But Ray, I guess, went with Carrie. Is that the first time you went with your girlfriend? Yeah. So I don't oh, know. Dude, how mad is she about introducing you to this? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? She loves it. She secretly loves it. She has a special place in her heart for it. But yeah, I don't know. I think it was about maybe three or four years ago now, eh? Three. It would have been like probably four, yeah. Four years ago, we were living in the annex yeah. and, you know, just classic summer night out strolling the neighborhood, stumble across... Christy Pitts, and it was a Toronto Maple Leafs game versus the Barry Bay Cats. And Even remembers the opponent. We sat up <laughs> on the hill. Not only do I remember the opponent, I remember the pitcher, none other than Brett Lawson. Oh, and I Brett sat up Lawson. there, <laughs> and I just, I, I don't know, we maybe got there in like the third inning, and it was just me and my girlfriend and me just yelling at the top of my lungs for the next two and a half hours, just broading Brett with Wait, you're, you're heckling him? Solo heckling, man. <laughs> Solo heckling. Hard. And she And she stuck with you the whole game. Stuck with me the whole He's game. He's a keeper, Ray. <laughs> and you know what? We even squeaked a win. I can't, I can't even remember wow. what the final score was. Wow. Might have been 8-6. Might have been 8-6 or something. But leaving an old gentleman from the top of the pits, you know, up there in the upper room. Oh, the upper bowl with the, with the uh, white hair, like the, the silver, the silver foxes up there, the silver which foxes. I gave mad yeah, respect to. You know what? Respect. Yeah. I was walking out. Seven rascals lined up right at the edge. Oh <laughs> man. The hill, all the rascals <laughs> it's yeah. so good. I was walking out with Carrie. One of the old guys walked over and, you know, he asked to shake my hand because of successful heckling. <laughs> wow wow so. that's awesome yeah i know so 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 from there i just remember ray was just like boys like we gotta go watch this watch this baseball i'm like oh yeah yeah i think i brought it. you in first g i think yeah, you were yeah. kind of the first one to come and then it just slowly started to snowball after that we yeah. got our core group of six guys together yeah no yeah. and then but the funny thing was like it's like the whole like pitch about it was just like you know, hey guys, like you're gonna be drinking in a park anyway on a Sunday. Why don't you just do it here? Watch some great ball. But oh yeah, you can also heckle the shit out of the other team, and they can hear you. And I'm like, well, that sounds interesting. I go to Jay's games, and you'll yell from the 500s, and no one can hear anything. You're spending 12 bucks on a beer. 
Why don't I go to the LCBO at all? Well, nice. <laughs> the, acoustics, yeah. the acoustics in the pits is absolutely phenomenal for yeah. heckling. Oh, yeah. And oh, you know air, what? Air we, we, nuclear bombs. we quickly found out that we actually have an impact on the game. And not only are we loved by our team and hated by the other teams, but yeah. we, we realized quickly that, it, you know, it really does bring an awesome energy to the game. I it, think so, the, oh, yeah. the players enjoy it. The fans love it. And we keep it clean. We're not aggressive. Yeah, we're not, we're not obnoxious. Well, we're aggressive, but we're not swearing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's no, what no, no, not, nothing, nothing lewd, nothing crude. But, yeah, exactly. gee, you did put yourself in timeout that one game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I had to put myself in timeout because those friggin' umps, they hate the Bushmen. I swear. <laughs> like, like, we do not get any of the calls, especially at home. And they blew one at second, blew one at home. I blew my lid. And I was like, hook you up. Da, da, da. And you guys all turned to me like, Yo, chill, dude. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I had to put myself in tie up, went up into the bush. There's kids there. under the family tree. I know, I know, I know. And I apologize to all your family members out there. I get a little skewed up when I'm watching I, my beloved, uh, beloved my, baby. My leaves. favorite thing about it is just like also just the, some of the other fans. Like there's the, that crew of like old, old guys that are just sitting up on Christy with their lawn yeah, like, chairs that are like oh, yeah. veteran fans. Yeah. And then the odd crazy one, like that lady who was hammered, oh, the, who the came Asian up. Lady. The Asian lady. The Asian lady who cheers for everything. <laughs> yeah. 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 With, With the, the Fox, whistle. Fox 40. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're like, we're like, holy shit, this lady's a Leafs fan. She, she came out of nowhere. And she's like, she's, yeah. She came from the yeah. bush, man. And she has like a beer. She's like, yeah. And we're like, okay. And she's like hanging kind of beside us. We didn't know what was going on. And then suddenly something happened for the other team against the Leafs. And she's like, yeah, yeah. We're like, oh, like she's just yelling to yell. <laughs> well, Ray, yeah. remember, we, remember when we saw her when we were, what, we went to like have a bush like beer after the season and there was those kids playing and she was yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You're getting yelling again. So good. Sorry for the birds there, boys. Yeah. Oh man, that's oh, classic. That's, that's hilarious. Classic. No, so so we love it. So basically that's the like the the premise of it is like Ray started going with his girlfriend, then he's like, hey boys, we should do this. And then from there, it you know, started with a few of us. Elliot, obviously, we were living together at the time. It's like you're like, I'm down to boosh, obviously. Hager's well, joined. Definitely. Look at me, like because I missed the first, like you guys watched like two thirds of the season and you guys kept telling me to come. Right. And I was like, oh, like, I don't really give a shit. I'm tired. We were just right. being polite. And finally polite. went to a game and was like, how have I not been watching this for my entire life? <laughs> right. <laughs> the wildest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the wildest back and forth baseball. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so But it's also awesome. the experience, too. Like, the funny thing is, like, about it is, like, if I, like, ever, like, say to people, I'm like, you know, uh come watch this like ibl like you know in the park they're like oh i don't know it's like no seriously just go try it out like last year yeah like no one has a bad time like last year yeah. by the end of the season we had like 30 people one night yeah. and like oh, even yeah. like you know people who weren't even fans of baseball they're just like this was awesome just like hanging out with your friends yeah. watch some good baseball like get the heckling in there like Ew, remember that one time terrible. when those like hipsters very, came up with like the trumpet yeah the that, was the, that was the very <laughs> big cats game yeah. that unbelievable 1913 game or whatever the heck it was 1613 1613 like five hours we had the trombone and trumpet yeah. guy going at it the entire pits was crazy it, it was, was lit it was lit it was unreal <laughs> It's so good. It's oh so my good. god, I can't yeah. wait. Well, I'd yeah. say too. Like yeah. we, we hooked like Eric Earl is now deep into the bush. Oh, that drops yeah. dropping bombs. You know he's got that baritone yell. Deep baritone. Oh, so fantastic. All right. Well, yeah. So so that's basically. Uh, I think the gist of the pod here, boys. Good little secondary. Yeah, on Elliot, session. welcome in. We'll have to save Keep some that stories slow for the next growing. episode. Oh, it's gonna be growing I, until the, the shops reopen. Which could I'd be like, I'd like a smaller mic at you next time. 
I'll see what I can do. I'll downsize as much as I can. <laughs> yeah. Hit up Amazon Maybe like, once they have a micro micro. No, you like, know one of those like, like even contact is allowed. I'm interviewing some players. With this. <laughs> some yes, and to that oh. point, to that point, we do want interviews. Uh, we're trying to book a few. Kyle McKinnon, Coach Tebow, try not to kill each other. Tebow, if you can make it out to Newfoundland and duke it out with him, we want you to film that and send it to us because we need that for the content. But anyone else who wants to participate, literally, like we're happy to have you. Um, the Mara kinda, family. Yeah. We just I want, want to talk know, I, want, I want an educational lesson with the professor, Greg Harrington. I want him to come. Yes, GC, we know you're out there. Get at us. But remember, everyone, every Wednesday, that's when we drop this. Be sure to follow us on The Bushman One on Twitter, The Bushman One on Instagram, and obviously our still growing and progressing Bushman dot the Bushman dot CA website. With that, Cheers. boys, bush out. Bush, bush out. out. Take care, Cheers. fellas. Cheers. Nice. That's good timing because.